good? It's your boy T-R-E-N-T, -E and I'm back one more again. This time I'm back with a brand new album reaction. It's New Music Friday, and we've been waiting on this album to drop since Friday, but this is the brand new Vultures 2 by Kanye West and your boy Ty Dolla Sign. And unlike the other YouTubers and reactors, I do not skip the songs. I do not pause the song. I listen to the whole song, and at the end, I give my commentary. I grade each song from zero to 10, 10 being the best. So if it's a trash song, y'all already know that's five and below. If it's mid, average, okay, that's a six. Now, if it's a good song, depending on me and y'all, that's seven to 10. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of each video so y'all can leave y'all grade. Make sure y'all follow me on every social media platform. That's Lit Trent Music. It's spelled the same way as this channel. And uh, we're going to catch a vibe on Twitch after this. So make sure after we do this reaction, go to Twitch. But for right now, this is Vultures 2. You're fucking you going on a bunch of making reaction bits. <laughs> I hate you niggas that make reaction fits. 5.30 Track 12 On the album <laughs> Drake, bitch. 
Y'all gone, 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 I wanna put the bitch. Listen to little baby, listen to future bitch. Fall some but thunder ten before a fugitive. Wanna thunder, 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 not on love hoes. You don't love yay, yeah, you love money bag, yo. I don't sign up where you sign up, what he bad for? What he mad for? You a fake bitch. Don't listen to me, you don't, don't go listen to Drake, bitch. Listen to Lil Baby, go listen to Future, bitch. But if I'm another thunder for your future, bitch. And I hope your baby daddy was a future tip. And I hope you sound a thunder when you lose a kid. And I hope you turn a thunder to a dick. This last one's from Patrol. This last text cuts Patrol. Then I stand so they don't. No way, baby, don't they don't. That's 530. Before I give y'all my grade, let's talk about it. Um, First of all, this sounds like a 530 uh, call. Y'all know, speaking of 530, y'all know Drake came out with a song called Marvin's Room where he drunk text a girl. This sounds like a rap version of drunk texting or whatever. And he probably made this at 530 a.m. You know how rappers work at night or whatnot. But um, he, he mentioned something he said, and I know y'all going to dig into it. I'm going to watch y'all reactions to this song and how y'all dig into the beef and everything. But he said, you don't like Drake, go listen to Drake. You don't like Kanye, go listen to Drake. That's his, that's his adversary. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's somebody that, like, as much as they don't like each other, you see the similarities in them. They both got people that wrote for them in hip hop. You both got collaborative efforts to make big records, which I don't blame them for that. Like, that's some shit. Like, if even if I did music, I want to get the hottest shit out from the hottest artists, and I want to um, not basically steal from them, but I do want to collaborate with them. So I understand that. And, um, he talking about, you know what I'm saying, his girl, his his situation. I like when rap I like when rappers telling us they life and like he his life is all in the blogs and headlights anyway. So it's like um with the album we get to kind of see what he thinking. Like it's better than his interviews, it's better than his little um pop up shops when everybody trying to figure out what he thinking. You know what I'm saying? It's, I like it when he put it in music. And that goes to all artists. I like when they put it in their music. But um, 530, I can relate to some of the stuff he's saying. Some of the stuff it is dope. But it, it sounds like he was freestyling. But it's a dope freestyle. Um, I'm not going to get this a, a bad song. It's not definitely a 10. It's not a perfect song. But I'm going to get this song a 7.9. Like, it's damn near 8. But I'm gonna give it a 7.9. I like this song. It's a good song, but it's it's not the nine or ten. It's not a banger. It's cool. It's just telling us more about him and what he feel. But I feel like even when he's saying Drake name, I think a lot of y'all gonna be like, oh yeah, he's still uh, shooting shots. But he threw. I feel like he threw Lil Baby and Future name in there just to like these money bag yo. He threw a lot of names that probably would have. Like ten years ago, when um, when your boy Kendrick Lamar did it on Control Verse and shook up the hip hop industry, like, oh, you talking to these people? You named them too, like because the last. Let me tell y'all in a before this Jake, Drake and Kendrick beef. If y'all grew up in hint in hip hop, some some hip hop we knew who didn't fuck with each other because they used to say names. But then it became a subliminal game. And a lot of people, I can credit back to Jay-Z because Jay-Z addressed a lot of shit without y'all even noticing. He dressed, you got to dig into deep into it. And it left a lot of artists like Drake and Kanye and all the people who took from that. Like, I could still talk about y'all. I could still shoot a shot without it being directly named. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but a lot of people feel on that ain't beef. That's just hip hop. I, I feel that, but, um, it ain't real beef is like niggas losing lives and all that type of shit. I understand that, but rap beef is like, it's a lyrical war, but the last 20 years from the 2000s on, it been a lot of subliminal. So it's, it's still going to be subliminals. You know what I mean? And this could be a subliminal 
low key cut as like I'm shouting out Drake. Oh, you don't really fuck with Kanye, you fuck with Drake, bitch. And I'm showing the other niggas it's a blemish because I'm showing some other niggas I fuck with like Lil Baby and Future Name. I'm throwing their name in there too, so don't think, don't take it out of context. But the, the real dig is gonna feel like, oh, he's really shooting a shot at Drake, but he just throwing other people name in there just to smooth it out, like he, like the control verse. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just shouting out everybody. But um, zero out of 10, the song is still going to be a 7.9, I said. Zero out of 10 is a 7.9. We got a few more songs. We're going to catch a vibe on Twitch after this. So make sure y'all go on Twitch. Real beef hurt. My, my boy on Twitch say, real beef is hurt feelings too. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they already passed that. Like, far as Drake and Kanye, they passed the... They don't fuck with each other no more. But I feel like Drake... I feel like Kanye created a monster with Drake. He seen what Drake was. And he seen that Drake actually had talented. Like, he could sing and rap. So, Drake could take... Basically, Drake is the new version of Kanye. But Kanye wasn't liking that shit. And... For some reason, they got beef. They wanted to collaborate, but unlike the other artists they collaborate with, it seemed like they hop on a new wave, but the none of the artists they collaborate with is artists that they could see surpassing them. That's what I feel like the real beef come from. And Drake was one of them artists that Kanye felt like he could collaborate, but he don't see growing past him. And the fact that Drake actually did grow past him is like, oh, you real competition. You just not my foe. You not my my um, protege. You like a real motherfucker. And you really got talent. So I feel some type of way. And as a competitive, I like that. You know what I'm saying? But far as like, you know what I'm saying? Musically, Drake been on a run. Y'all can say what y'all want about this diss with him and Kendrick Lamar. I know I'm making this a long video because we towards the end. But... Drake, to me, is like even him, him beefing with Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying, and got Kendrick Lamar basically got the West Coast together, but that wouldn't be possible without Drake, you know what I'm saying? So Drake is one of them artists, and I know it's America versus Canada, it's Can, uh, Compton versus Canada, is is Drake one of them, but Drake is a successful artist, he's he's the person you want to make music sound like, sound is global is everything he's he's gonna be in my personal opinion he's top in my top three you know what i'm saying that ever done it you know what i'm saying ever did it no matter what the allegations how many battles he lost or whatnot musically just musically drake done it already so um I fucks with the song. I'm a, I don't get it at 7.9 like a band saying. I know it's a long video. We're going to rock out. We're going to catch a vibe on Twitch after this. Click the next video if you're rocking out or not. Uh -huh.